Tango sighted. It's a Yak-3? Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> it's like his bullets killed himself. In my opinion, right now, one of the biggest headaches in War Thunder is closed air support. It really runs rampant. It is lawless. You can spawn in an anti-air vehicle, a cap, get into a P-47, or any type of attacker that has rockets and can kill heavy tanks that are still making their way to the second objective in the match and completely change the tide of the battle. It's lawless. And it doesn't even reward a player for doing well. Now, I have no problem with planes in Tank RB. But there needs to be a point to where a player needs to, needs to perform decently well to get a plane that could theoretically, the Wyvern, kill eight tanks. You got to do something good. You got to play above average. You can't just press W, get into a cap, get hit once while you're getting killed and spawn in a wyvern. The good thing is, is that I believe War Thunder recognizes this and they're um, re trying to redo SP systems in the way you gain points and the way you spawn points in these modes. For example, Sim Battle has had some tests of um, a new spawning system and we might be able to see some type of iteration in RB. So the... So the the good news is, is that they're working on it. But I need to change now. And today... Whoa, whoa. When... Stop that. Jesus. Why is... Why why is new technology so intrusive? As I was saying, I need to change now. In today's video, we're going to be fighting fire with fire and loading out our German lineup with some of the best planes that this nation has at a respectable or at their respective BR to erase the skies. So I think a good BR is going to be 5.7 for us. We can run the Tempest, and this is going to be our Tiger lineup as well. Let's put the Tempest in there. Uh, what else? We got the Ta-152. Okay, that's very, very nice. If you think about it, each CAS plane that we kill before they get their bombs off, which is going to be challenging because they spawn in at a decent altitude and they come in about 500, 600 kilometers an hour. Uh, but if we're able to kill them before they get their ordnance off, we're going to save two or three tanks per kill, which feels great. Holy crap, guys. A P-47's up and I haven't even gotten to the battle area yet. Tango front. That's a juicy ass target. Ugh. Okay, that guy, that guy went boom. Ooh, we just got rocketed. Pop some smoke up real quick. We got one kill. We got enough spawn points to spawn into our lower tier fighters. I'm gonna try to get one more kill. Oh, oh guys, we're getting right now. We can't have that. That guy has six kills. Let's go, let's go. Scramble, scramble, scramble. That guy's got six kills. Six kills early game. Our whole team is ruined. Got him in sight.
Yeah, that felt good and everything, but um, it don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. Oh, what a great example of how it can just fucking go down. Well, would you look at that? The allies have the cap early game. Welcome to a Hurtkin Force. I actually like this map, especially with the tiger. He just snipe, 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 and snipe some more, and he snipe, 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 and he snipe some more. Ooh, and we are versing the Americans and British. Look at this Panther D getting a nice flank on. I'm going to poke out. I'm going to be kind of ridiculous here. Let's see who's doing the same thing as me, but we could probably jump him. Nice kill. KV-1B on the scent one. That's a decent kill for a 75 millimeter. Okay, we got some eyes over here. Chevrons. That guy's dead. Yep, that's typical. Uh, This is going to be difficult, though. Uh, let's go right here. Now a little bit higher. Uh, right there. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, he... He can't do anything to us either. Can I go lower glazes? I don't think so. Just we're going to keep shooting each other so we get uh, RP points. Ah, oh, god damn it. We got 140. Uh, we, we, we have a movement over here. I'm going to track him. <laughs> this is so... The Jumbo is such a ridiculous tank. Uh... Nice shot, I guess. You hit my cannon barrel. <laughs> oh, we had a, that one kind of hurt a little bit. Oh, look at that. Look at that. CAS, CAS. We got 340. We need more points. We're going to pop some smoke, maybe. Okay, our gun is operational, but our turret's not. See, yes, we're having a nice firefight, taking some bounces, and a firefly comes out of nowhere and it's like, yeah, man, I heard you like RP3s. <laughs> oh, you fucking bitch. All right, all right. All right, Mart. All right, Mart. Give me something to use. Nothing. That's right. Because I didn't cap the fucking early game points. Welcome to Sinai. We have two enemy planes up. One looks like he's on me already. You got any anti-air up? No, we do not. We, we definitely could head on. We have stealth on. We could fire out like two or three kilometers away. We're going to need to take down this top guy first. What we could do is kind of like think that we're going for a ground strike and then turn around to him really quickly. And here we go. Up we go. Oh, we should have died right there. He should have died. That was 850 cals in his face. It's going to be an I-185, I believe. He's firing far range. S26. Hit. There's our friend. Enemy forces have captured the zone. Idle. Enemy has taken the Power. Let me have this. Yes. Ooh. Okay, we are still up in the air. We got to regain our altitude and stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's friendly to our left. Okay, let's disengage for a little bit. This is going to be a close game. We're, we're losing really, really badly right now. But we still have good numbers on the ground. Let's go in quick. This guy kind of feels like he's playing a... I feel like he's an SU-6. Yeah, looks like it. Definitely. Or a, or a um, USSR P-47. Fuck. We're, we're at a bad angle to engage. I don't want him to get his bombs off. Here we go. Laps out. We might break him here. 
Bombs away, they look like bad bombs though. Okay, Tango down, Tango down, up we go. He killed nobody on that strike run. New plane up. Now we got an HS129er, and he might be turned on by this fighter, it looks like. Yeah, he is. Let's build up some more airspeed. We need at least 400 kilometers an hour before we start engaging, just for maneuverability purposes. Okay, let's go to the right. Let's kind of lag behind him. Yak 9T, potentially. Yak 7, Yak 7. New plane up. We're disengaging. We got 1,500 rounds uh, left. This is why 50 cows are the best round in the game. It really annoys me, too, because, like, I wish cannons would, um, would perform like cannons. Quick plane. Very quick. Let's turn back around. See the comeback the Germans are having right now? The Germans stay reserved. The, uh, the the Russians go all full full blown full steam. Okay, this guy's going to rope a dope, probably a Yak 9T with that play style. He sees me. A lot of sparkles. He looks a little bit slower than me. We're gonna put landing flaps on. Okay, Tango down. Cool the engine off. LA5. God, I'm, I'm really bad at my calls today. Like, determining what a plane is from far range. Okay, there's another plane up, though. I saw him. Or I saw something. He's low altitude. 700 or 800 rounds left. God, we're not going to be there in time. Fuck. Can't tell. <laughs> not a not not a bomber though. LA LA seven. Need more pull. Not gonna get it with this big bird. Maybe though. Slower airspeed. <sighs> Landing flaps out. Landing flaps in. Yeah, he's, he's, he's burnt me. We're gonna try to disengage. Engine's overheated. Heating. We might be able to disengage but between these rocks. I think he sees me though. Six plane kills, I'll take it. Is that a new plane up? No. Negative right now. We're going to go full disengage. Climb up to about maybe 3,000 meters and come back in. There's not many players left. We killed a lot of planes, but we only prevented two planes that could have caused a lot of destruction for our team. That was the P-47 and the Su-6. But still, at the same time, we, we countered... We saved maybe four five of our tanks by doing that 
So that's, you know, a good reason why we won. I don't think it's the, the only reason why we won, but we kept our tanks in the fight, and um, those rockets, those bombs could have easily gone for some of our heavies. Guys, hope you have enjoyed today's video. Hopefully this video has inspired you to take out a fighter and uh, silence CAS for the match you're in. Now, I understand if you're grinding tanks, you don't want to be taking out a fighter. I understand that. But if you're just playing for fun, saving your heavies and tanks on the ground with a fighter, it's pretty enjoyable. But guys, again, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great day. Until next time, peace out.